Ho, 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 and welcome to this uh, Christmas or almost Christmas version of Puzzling Time. Thought I'd do something Christmassy, and what's more Christmassy than Father Christmas himself? And this is a Block Man or Cube Man, I think it's got a few different names, a uh, version of um, in the Santa Claus version of the Block Man Cube Man. It's a, a great puzzle, this. Um, for kids who are getting into puzzling or you want to get them into puzzling, a bit of a stocking filler. Uh, you make the Santa Claus, he can sit up, he can stand up. Um, he's very tactile, very versatile. He's made of wooden cubes uh, that held together with uh, elastic. You've got a few larger cuboids down here and smaller pieces for hands. Um, but he's very typically very well made and very robust so you know you're not gonna pull santa's head off very easily you also if you do break it it's not too difficult to uh, replace and the idea of this puzzle is actually to make a cube a three by three cubes that's what we're going to do in just a second in fact why wait uh spoiler tag spoiler tag spoiler tag don't forget to put a spoiler tag up here and Let's have a look at how we can turn our Santa Claus into a cube. Well, the first thing you want to do with Santa is we're going to straighten his legs out like this. And I'm going to turn his body. So we've turned his body. Um, so we've got the cube running, uh, the, this central cube here with where his buttons were. I'm now going to take his legs. I want to fold his legs in. So I have to do this with the legs and fold them both in. Okay, so I folded both of Santa's legs in. So this is our general shape. And then this first one, you might have to rotate. Sometimes you have to rotate, depends on how you started. I'm going to fold it down and fold it across. And then the same for the second one. Fold it down and then fold it across. I've made this flat uh, bottom if you like. So here's my Santa on top. Be careful, you might have to rotate some of these uh, cubes just so that it bends in the right way or folds in the right way. And I'm going to fold both of his arms in. I'm going to fold Santa's head up. And then on the back here, with his two hands, I'm just going to fold them down. So I'm going to have to turn that, fold it, turn that, and fold it. And there is my cube. And Santa can sit on the side as a cube for about 20 seconds until my son runs over, uh, starts playing with it, then goes, Daddy make him into Santa Claus. So then I've got to make him into Santa Claus. And then as soon as that's finished, he'll go, Daddy, make him into a cube. So then I have to make him into a cube. And because of that, I can probably do this puzzle uh, in my sleep. But it's a great puzzle, um, great beginner's puzzle, lots of fun, um, and definitely one that you want to be using for kids' uh, stocking filler. Okay, that's all from this video. Um, have a good Christmas. Have a good New Year. I'll still probably upload in between the Christmas and the New Year. Um, but uh, feel free to uh, chat to me on Discord. I know some people uh, don't really celebrate Christmas that much or don't really enjoy Christmas. So if you're ever um, feeling a little bit down or feeling like you need someone to chat to, get onto the Discord. There's going to be lots of people there uh, willing to chat, uh, willing to talk to you. Uh, it's not about, um, you know, Christmas gifts and giving. It's about uh, togetherness. It's about taking time to kind of relax at the end of the year and look forward to uh, the, a new start, the new year, and hopefully lots of new puzzles coming out, lots of new people to meet, to chat to, brighter, bigger and better things. So bye from me, bye from him, and we'll see you both very, very soon.